What's up, Abscombs fam? It's your girl Abby. Welcome back to another video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me today and for clicking on this video. So, do y'all see my skin? Let's just talk about it. Do you just see how glowy? Just how bomb? Just how beautiful? your girl looks today well today i'm gonna be helping you guys hooking y'all up with more tips as per usual how you could achieve this beautiful summer glowy and here comes the best part no foundation makeup look you guys are probably like <gasps> Sis, you're not wearing foundation? No. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not. And once you guys watch the video, you're gonna see that I am not lying. I'm gonna hook you guys up with this tutorial today on how to achieve your beautiful glow from within skin makeup look without using any foundation. Because let's keep it real, guys, it's summer. It is hot AF. I don't know where you guys are, but in Colorado, our summers be hot, hot. Like, yes, our weather is bipolar, but our summers, ugh, it can be so humid and like, ugh. And the last thing you want to do is wear foundation and just feel like it's all going to melt off. You're trying to slay when you go out. I mean, we're still with this whole corona thing, but when you go to the store, or when you go to the pool, or when you go, you know, to the shopping with your girls, or at the carne asadas, you know, you want to slay. You don't want to be cakey, sis. You want to look glowy. You want to have them, them haters look at you like, bro, does Abby have foundation on? Dude, I don't think she, I think she does. That is not her skin. But dude, it doesn't look like she's wearing foundation. Her skin looks so bomb. Ugh, I hate her. Dude, I think that is her skin. I'm so jealous. And see, that's literally, literally, thank you. The girl has an acting pattern. <laughs> no, but seriously, y'all. Like, I want to hook you guys up with your skin to just look flawless without any foundation. You don't need makeup, period, to look beautiful, but you really don't need foundation to make your makeup be popping. And you guys are going to see that today. So, if you want to see how I achieved this beautiful. no foundation glowy summer look then keep on watching oh and there is a giveaway at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned to the end to hear about the cash 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 giveaway cash 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 giveaway because i got y'all y'all my fam love you guys thank you so much that we got to over a hundred subscribers i'm so thankful that all of you have chosen to join the apps gomes family you guys are literally letting me live my dream i don't care that i don't have like a million yet i don't care because i know we're gonna get there we're gonna grow together and i promise i'm gonna keep working so hard like guys i am a one woman show with this whole YouTube thing. I do it all on my own. I purchased some bomb lighting, a little mic, my whole setup. I always make sure it looks bomb for you guys that you guys ain't seeing me in no dirty setting. And I do the whole editing and the whole everything, the products I buy, I buy with my own money to just show you guys some bomb content. So it really, really makes me feel like my hard work has not gone unnoticed when you guys decide to join the apps Gomes family and subscribe to my channel so before i cry this makeup off i just wanted to take a few minutes to say thank you and how grateful i am from the bottom of my heart that 
whoever subscribed, whoever of you, oh, any one of you that have subscribed to my channel, I notice it. It doesn't go unnoticed. I'm so grateful that you guys even chose to click that subscribe button and care to watch what your girl's about. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's why I'm paying it back, paying it forward to you guys and showing my gratitude by doing a giveaway hook you guys up with some money 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 sorry guys i'm weird and i love to dance spontaneously just going to break out into song but yes so i'm so excited for this video i hope you guys love this look and hope you guys love the giveaway and before i just won't shut up let's get to it all right guys so let's get into today's video so today's video is gonna be like I said, it's going to be a summer glowy makeup look, minimal, minimal, minimal makeup, and it's going to be with no foundation. So I know not wearing foundation, especially when you have really problematic skin, could be really, really, really intimidating. I understand completely I'm not going to sit here in front like, oh, I feel 100% the baddest B when I don't wear foundation. No. No. It could be intimidating, but I want you guys to just try this look, see how you like it, make it your own. Because honestly, it's going to... Because, you, you know, especially if you live in like really hot places, you know, like in Colorado, the summers could be so hot. And the last thing you want to do is wear pounds of foundation on your face so honestly this concealer look um just using concealer as foundation i'm going to show you guys how um but really really just makes your skin feel really lightweight doesn't feel cakey doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't make you feel like it doesn't feel like it's gonna like melt in the sun you get me so just watch i'm gonna show you guys step by step how to achieve bomb glowy skin with no foundation okay so the first thing you're gonna do is just brush your brows I know my brows look treacherous I am trying to grow them out I do them myself I don't I feel like my brows are super thin to go get them done I've told you guys this before so I just do them myself but you see they're just really growing really weirdly because that's how brows roll so for this look, biggest, 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 biggest tip I'm going to give you guys is do not, for the love of sweet Jesus, make your brows super heavy and dark. Do not, do not, do not. I'm going to repeat this. Do not. And let me tell you why. Because when you do soft looks, ladies and gentlemen... When you do soft looks, if you make your brows look super bold and like heavy and dark, it's just going to kill your whole soft makeup look vibe. I don't mean this to offend anybody, but I know a lot of people are guilty of this. I myself never knew how important it was for your brows to match your look and when I say that I mean if you're doing like a full glam beat and you like your brows all bold and heavy and dark sis you do you but when you're doing a soft look especially like the one we're doing today with no foundation the last thing you want is some dark bold brows with the soft look it doesn't look good I'm just gonna tell you how it is it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't I learned that the hard way y'all don't even want to see pictures I've shown you, I've shown y'all pictures before because I keep it real don't even look at my nail I'm that chick right now but no I'm totally serious like I was that chick who would walk around with bold brows I didn't know and I get it we're all learning at our own pace I'm not gonna sit here in front and be like I'm some makeup artist profesh no but I do I have a lot of experience in this yes so I'm trying to help you guys achieve a bomb summery glowy look without foundation 
and your skin is gonna love it and you're gonna love it just trust me okay so big 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 tip so remember I've shown you guys this brow pencil before it was in my brow tutorial let me focus it let me focus it so you guys know it's the elf instant lip brow pencil highly highly recommend it guys it's two bucks like come on go get it it works really well and I feel like I use this all the time I just these are new ones I just bought them I needed to um, restock I'm just gonna tell you guys I've tried $20 brow pencils there's a reason I use this because I feel like there's so many brow pencils that the, there's not a lot of product in the pencil and the lo gastas like this like especially if you do your makeup often not even worth it so this it's two bucks you get a lot of product guarantee you this lasts me like and I'm not someone who does my makeup often literally only when I like go out which obviously right now ain't nobody going out so really when I film I think the last time I bought this was maybe like two months ago not gonna lie and even when I would go out you know before all this Rona stuff happened maybe I would purchase it like once a month and that was me doing my makeup like every weekend so y'all need this so I'm gonna say no this video isn't sponsored by elf it's not sponsored by anybody yeah like I always tell you guys we gotta put that out there soon someone's gonna sponsor this video it's gonna come in clutch but for right now this is Abby G telling it how it is that you guys need this brow pencil in your lives especially because it's very soft and it's perfect for the look we're gonna do today okay so you brush that brow sis okay all right so you guys already know how I do my brows so I'm gonna speed through this because you guys already know but remember keep it soft Alright guys, do you see this soft brow? Mm-hmm, that's how yours need to be soft. And if you have bold brows, then if you have like thick, big, nice brows, girl, just get some brow gel and that's it. You don't need to do your brows. Me, I need to because mine's are thin. I don't like them, so I have to make them look cute. But do you see? I didn't go into depth in this routine because that would just take forever for my brows. If you want a full brow tutorial, I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you can check it out along with my other videos if you like. But yes, I have a brow routine video. I literally used everything except the pomade. So I literally just used this product and that's it. Yes, so literally a nice soft brow is what you want to achieve. So I'm about to go do the other brow. Boom. You want to have your brows looking like this. Nice, soft, not heavy brows. Okay. All right, guys. So then uh, you want to prep your skin. I went ahead and did that off camera. I know. Look. I know. I know. I know. You guys, are, you guys can make fun of me. I am overdue. I am getting my nails done next week. So you guys will see my cute birthday nails yes my birthday's next week we'll talk about it more later in the video 
All right, so you want to put on your primer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but I've heard really great things about it. I just started using it a couple times. Um, it's really, really good. It has a good consistency. It's like a gel consistency. And it's like has like watermelon in it. That's like really good for your skin. And it has that um, tackiness that helps the foundation, or in this case, concealer stay on and grab on by this primer it's really good it smells good but it's not like heavy centered so it shouldn't bother your face if you have sensitive skin it shouldn't irritate it I have sensitive skin like you guys know and my skin loves this primer this would be like my fourth time trying it yes really good I don't know if you guys could hear the tackiness yeah that's what you want a good primer that will grab on to your base and then I started using this other primer it's the elf poreless putty primer I swear elf just needs to sponsor me Cause that's all I use is elf <laughs> I love elf so this is the poreless putty primer again I was recommended to this by a friend really good see I've been using it I'm not lying you see my nails carved in there um, so this is this I saw it on her face and her face just looked really like clean and like poreless like it looked so smooth and I was like bro what are you wearing and she's like bro elf I was like even better so I like to put the gel one and then I like to put this one to minimize my pores I kind of just focus it on the t-zone so on the apples of my cheeks on my nose on my chin and on my forehead this is where we're gonna start with our base now that we're all prepped all right so the concealer that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline fit me in the shade medium clearly you can see I use this concealer it's one of my favorite concealers it's like one of my holy grail concealers from the drugstore it just has a nice radiant finish to it and it's really good coverage as well like a, just like a healthy natural finish kind of concealer so highly recommend it if you haven't used it so what we're gonna do and this is gonna be the whole look is spot concealing so obviously you guys are not gonna put on found conceal this concealer I was gonna say foundation you're not gonna put it on where I put it on I mean if you have the same problem areas I do then by all means but if you can see I have redness high redness over here I have like kind of hyperpigmentation I have like a little breakout right there I have dark circles but I'm going to use a lighter concealer this one is in the shade medium so it's kind of more like my skin tone so I would recommend using a concealer that's more like your skin tone and not like too light of a concealer that's going to make you look pale I would leave the lighter concealer for when we actually conceal underneath our eyes and everything but for the sh purposes of what we're going to be using around our whole face I would recommend using a concealer that matches your skin tone or is at least a little little lighter but not too light um, and then you just want to apply it in the problem areas of your skin and spot conceal so I'm going to put it on in this whole thing that I have right here because it's like all red okay and then I have this little blemish right there I have redness under my nose okay and I'm gonna apply it over here on this cheek and the 
I have another guy over here wanting to come out. Then I'm going to do here on the sides of my mouth and on my chin. That's where I'm like really, really red. And down here, you can see like this whole side, right side of my face is like very like red. Okay, and you just want to apply that, like I said, every, anywhere that you feel like you have like blemishes or that you want to, you know, cover up. You're just going to spot conceal. And then you're just going to grab your, you could use a brush if you use your brush. I like to use my beauty blender. It just, I feel like it just applies more naturally. To the skin okay already oh, hold on. So if you just look at my skin you could already see that the concealer just makes my skin nice and healthy looking Obviously, it's going to look better once we conceal where we want to conceal with our lighter concealer. I like to use a lighter concealer for underneath my eyes because I need that brightening. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's a satin finish. I'm sure you guys have seen this concealer before. I've used it. Ugh. See, clearly I use it. It's all... It is all used up. Yeah, so there's a better visual of it. Okay, so now you want to apply your lighter concealer wherever you want to brighten. The other one was more for like covering up, and this is more for brightening. Okay, clearly that's not my skin color, so this is like a lighter shade. Down the bridge of my nose. I usually do my right here as well. Just to add a little extra coverage because that's where I really get red. And just put it on my eyes because my eyes have discoloration as well. So whatever is left, I don't like to directly apply concealer under there, but just whatever is left over on my beauty blender, I will apply it around the eye lid. On, try not to do too much because again the purpose is for your face to feel lightweight and not cakey so you don't want to cake on too much concealer either I don't know if you guys can see zoom into the skin it looks really nice you see I still have my little moles peeking through I have a lot on my face so the point is not for this to be like a full coverage glam, it's for it to be a nice lightweight glam that still makes your skin look like skin. Next step for um, bronzer and everything, so for this kind of look you don't want to apply heavy bronzer or blush or I mean highlight, go ahead sis, but bronzer or blush you want to keep everything just with the vibe of light light fresh makeup like if you just woke up like this is pretty much what you're trying to do so i'm going to be using the laura geller multitasking lip eye lip and cheek palette you guys have seen this palette before i used this in my pretty previous video i loved it i fell in love with it really so i just had to use this for this glowy lightweight look so I'm going to grab the bronzer. This is in the shade Coconut Grove. So this bronzer right here. And if you're if you don't like to use cream products because you just it's not your thing, um 
you can go ahead and use your powders just make sure you're like really light light hand with it don't try to like super bronze up your face just again we're gonna just do very light light application okay When you're applying cream um, bronzer, you always want to brush up, not down, so you can have that nice chiseled look. And this is a nice stippling brush. You guys saw this in my last video as well. It helps just apply the cream product so easy. You guys can see I have some nice color to my skin now. Nothing crazy. Just a little color, just a little color. You don't have um, a cream palette like this when you could just use like a dark, like a brown concealer. That's what I've used before and that would work great as well. All right, so now I'm gonna do the, the blush. I like to use my finger to apply the blush, so I'm gonna use the finger that I don't have a nail. <laughs> Right, so you just want to apply that on the apples of your cheeks. I know I look like a doll right now, but we're about to blend it out. Don't worry. I like to apply it down here too, just to give me some color. All right, then your stippling brush again. And this, I like to just circle it all around my cheek. Could even drag it up. So cute. Y'all see the color? Mm, yes. So then I like to just go over it just to make it look more light. I like to go over it with the with my beauty blender. Y'all see that glow, sis? Yes, you do. All right. So now for the highlight, my favorite part. So beautiful. Can we just talk about it real quick? Oh, uh, look at that beautiful gold. I have nothing else to say, but wow. Okay. I recommend applying it with your finger as well drag it up uh, y'all see this this is live in action folks bomb <sighs> you all I know is that y'all about to slay this summer people are gonna think you ain't wearing makeup people are gonna be like oh that's just your skin it looks so good I'm so jealous yep you let them think that sis look at this y'all need this palette I'm sorry I know it ain't drugstore sis but it's such a great investment like if you want your skin to just look so much more healthy uh, look y'all need this of course we're gonna blend it out of course of course of course so then you just want to grab the beauty bleh, beauty blender just focus it 
Blend it, sis. Blend. Blend. Mm, mm, mm. Forgot to put some right here. Mm hmm. Watch him, chin, chin. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, I gotta stop making word noises. I just love it. It's so pretty. Come on, look at this highlight. Like makeup wear, sis. I'm not wearing any. Okay. Um, so bomb. We're literally like almost done. I'm so sad. So sad. So sad, but I know you guys love it. And if you don't, tell me why. Why don't you? Um, okay, so oh, so this would be the time I you don't ooh, forgot to say this. It if you're gonna set your concealer and stuff, I really don't because again, you guys know I'm a dry skin person. I'm like nah fam, I'm good. But I only do um I apply setting powder underneath my eye so it doesn't crease or anything, but that's about it. All over my face no gracias i don't need it my skin is dry is gucci it don't need it but if you're applying cream product otro tip otro tip do not do not do not do not put your setting powder before your cream products i'm gonna say that again for the person in the back do not put on setting powder before you apply cream products if you were gonna do a powder blush bronzer highlight fine go ahead and apply your setting powder right after you put on your concealer but me you guys saw I use cream products Squirt! do not apply your setting product till after you apply your cream products and if you wanna this if you if you're my and more if you're one of my oily pals go ahead and set all over your face with your um, setting powder but not too much you still want to have that naturally glowy it's your skin look you know so just do it lightly lightly me again don't need it i'm just gonna do it under my eyes this is the look at me jumping ahead this is the siate london everyday vacay coconut setting powder is it really smell like coconut we better confirm look it's dirty i use it okay yes oh it does smell oh it does smell like coconut guys it's bomb highly recommend this too it helps my eyes not crease at all a lot of setting powders do not help my look my young eyes not crease up my concealer crease up under here but this really helps my young under eyes so much so highly recommend this one it's not heavy it's a really thin mineralized powder highly recommend it okay and I'm just gonna do apply some where I do get oily where I don't want to crease up which is I've shown you guys right there in between my nose I hate it but I do get oily in there not gonna lie this is gonna help me this looks so wrong but <sighs> just know I didn't it's setting powder okay so I'm gonna leave that there move on to the next step so you can use for your eyes you can leave them like this if you want I've left them like this before but I realized that now I don't like to leave it like that my eyes just look too pale and I want to give them a little warmth, a little color. So I recommend using a bronzer. Trust me, use a bronzer. You're going to love it. So I'm using this. It's just going to look very... Because you know how bronzers are like warm. It's just going to... That's just what you want. It's like a little warmth. You don't want like a full shadow look. That's what you want to do. Go ahead. But... For this light look, I recommend not. I recommend just putting a little, little warm, 
Put a warm brown color on your eye, making it look awake bomb. So you don't need to do all that. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is a mini, I, I had bought in like a set. But this is the Butter Bronzer in the shade Murmur, Maru Maru Baby. So cute. This is like the baby sizes, but it's like a really good bronzer. See, I've hit pan. I obviously love it. I'm not going to tell you guys something that I don't love. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm always going to tell you guys products that you guys sh should get that I recommend if I personally use them. And you guys are going to see, clearly I use this. So, trust me on that. I'm always going to recommend you guys stuff that I would recommend to a friend, to a family member. If I would have recommended to them or to myself, I'm not going to recommend it to you guys. Okay, so I recommend grabbing a little powder bronzer and just using it as eyeshadow sis ever so lightly. You just want to warm, bring some warmth into your eyes. It's not going to be no dramatic shadow look. You just want to give yourself some color. So if you see this bronzer has kind of like a sheen to it, it's really cute. I love it. But you see, it just gave me a nice little warmth. Now we're going to take off this wah stuff off of my nose. Okay. Alright, guys. And you can, I'm just going to grab my face blending brush and just blend everything out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Oh my gosh. Come on, skin. Guys, you need a face brush if you don't have it. This is a real techniques. The Real Techniques Dual Fiber Face Brush. Literally my holy grail brush. I love it. It just blends everything so nicely. I recommend not skipping this step ever in your makeup looks because you need to make sure that everything is blended out bomb, smooth and nicely. Okay. 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 Next, we're about to do mascara for this look. Again, wouldn't recommend lashes if you want to. Maybe do some little like light wispy lashes, nothing crazy. I personally love not the whole mascara only look. So that's for y'all to decide. But personally, I think the look just looks so much more beautiful and natural with just your lashes. Okay, guys, you see this mascara? Mascara, no mascara. Mascara makes a big difference. Like, I'm not gonna front. Yes, I'd be feeling weird when I don't wear falsies because I'm so used to me wearing falsies. But honestly, the mascara look is just bomb. Like, it looks really good. Let me do the other eye and let me show it. Uh, so cute come on mascara come on the colossal waterproof mascara and I've told you guys I use waterproof because my lashes again are straight so this helps like give them a little a little oomph a little oomph nothing crazy but do you guys see my skin looks so cute the mascara and everything and the color on my um let's just pulls everything together and we still ain't done we still need to do our lips but i'm just telling you guys like already 
just looks bomb. Nice and natural. Mm. Mm. Love All it. right, guys. So for the lips, you want to make sure you take off any excess concealer or anything. Just for the sake of your lip products, applying, gliding on and applying easily. trick recommended i used to like put foundation or concealer over my lips thinking that was that would help my products apply better but no gotta be honest it doesn't all right so i'm gonna be using the you guys already know my favorite italia lip liner you guys see it's like tiny because clearly i use it literally i use it all the time so i'm just gonna line my lips Mm. Do you see how bomb this lip liner looks like? Let's just talk about it. Mm. Highly recommend it. I'm going to use this Maybelline Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade 530 Hot Sand. 530 Hot Sand. It's a really, really light nude. But I only feel comfortable using it when I use a brown lip liner all around my lips and then i just leave as you guys see the center open for this lipstick look at that it's super nude i get it but watch watch what your girl's gonna do So I would leave it like this. You could leave the lip like this, nice and matte, if you wish. But of course, you know, I gotta be extra. So I'm gonna apply a nice gloss. And guess what gloss I'm using? Yes, I'm still loving this gloss by MAC, the MAC Selena Gloss. This is in the shade the washing machine if you guys haven't checked out my review on the maxalina products again i will leave that video down below as well along with my brow routine video this gloss is just so beautiful it has like little iridescent specks in here and it's just so bomb watch Come on, sis. Mm. Let's just take a moment. Mm -hmm. And then I like to blot my glosses just the center so it's not too sticky. Mm -hmm. Super cute. So. I bought the Morphe X Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. This is in Starberry scent. So if you guys haven't used the regular Morphe setting spray, highly recommend it. It's like one of my faves. So worth it too. It's really cheap. Because um, I know drugstore setting sprays are like this big. And they're like 10 bucks. This is probably like, I think like 15 bucks. But it's obviously more for your money i just started using this one and well let's spray and then i'll tell you guys
so i like it guys honestly i think i was a little skeptical about the strawberry scent because i thought it was going to irritate my skin but it honestly didn't i love the fine mist i love like i said the original one this one i just wanted to try because of the scent but i was just kind of worried that it was very heavy scented it was going to irritate my face but it honestly doesn't as you guys see it just makes the makeup blend together nicely look very smooth and it doesn't irritate my skin so highly recommend it i've only used it a few times but if you love the first morphe morphe setting spray then i'm sure you'll love this one the only difference is that it actually has like a little scent but it's not like an overpowering scent that irritates your face so so yes fam this is the finished look can you believe no foundation like come on sis come on sis no foundation none none but we look nice i love it i just love it so much i hope you guys enjoyed this look i really hope that i showed you guys how bomb you can slay without foundation you don't need it look you don't need it sis you don't all right guys so that would be the end of this video sorry sorry uh, i'm gonna talk about the giveaway so we made it to 100 subscribers i am so so grateful so thankful for each and every one of you who i'm very emotional um i just want to thank each and every one of you who has taken the time to join the family and watch my videos i honestly was very insecure i all my friends were always telling me like dude just do a channel my family from like other states were like dude i want to learn you know your trip tricks uh like what do you wear for this what do you use for this and i was always like ugh. like i was just always holding back because i was honestly so afraid that i wasn't good enough and like with everything in life whatever goal you have there's always going to be that voice in the back of your head that makes you second guess yourself and your abilities and what you want to do but i'm here to tell you guys whatever goals whatever dreams you have like you really can do it i didn't expect to have this many of you in the join the fam and care to follow me and watch what i'm about i'm so so blessed so thankful i love each and every one of you for making my dreams come true i think the last time i checked i had like 107 of you lovely people subscribe to my channel so i love you guys so so much and i'm so so thankful and like i told you guys in the last video that if we got to 100 i was gonna do a giveaway and your girl keeps her word so for the giveaway rule you need to to enter the giveaway these are the rules so number one you need to be subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button then you know like the video click that little thumbs up and like the video and number three number three you need to comment down below your favorite snack it's gonna be a cash app giveaway so if you don't have cash app please download it i will be sending one lucky winner 50 dollars and i will be choosing the winner on thursday if you want to enter the giveaway you need to do those three things because the last giveaway i did people were doing like one or the other no this time i'm gonna be strict and i'm gonna make sure you guys did all three and choose one lucky person to win the $50 if you do all three of the rules. And I mentioned to you guys that my birthday's next week. Yes, your girl is going to be... Should I tell you guys? How do you guys think I look? For those of you that don't know. Comment down below your guess because I'm really, really curious. But yes, your girl's birthday is on Thursday, July second yes i'm a cancer baby i'm gonna be 24 i feel so old saying that yes i'm gonna be 24 years old 
I feel old, but I'm thankful that God has let me live these many years. So just let you guys know, my birthday is Thursday. So the original giveaway is going to be for $50, right? Cash app giveaway, cash giveaway is going to be $50, but... If you guys could do me a solid as a birthday present and if we can get to 200 subscribers by Thursday by my birthday I will do y'all a solid and add 50 bucks so that will be a total of a hundred dollars to one lucky winner y'all heard that yes so as a birthday present I'd really, 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 really appreciate it if we can get to 200 subscribers by Thursday. I know you guys could do it. I know you guys could do that. Give that to me as a birthday present. I'd be really, 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 really thankful. I know you guys could come through for me. And if we can get to 200 subscribers by Thursday, July 2nd, when I choose the winner, I will be giving the winner $100 instead of 50. This money, guys, I'm going to just disclaimer this is money coming out of my pocket like I don't get paid for YouTube yet. I don't like yet I don't so this is like my hard-earned Monday to Friday 8 to 5 money that I am gifting to you guys because I am grateful AF for everything that you guys have done for me and supported me for this long even though I haven't been on YouTube for that long so I just have to do you guys a solid and I promised you guys a cash giveaway and that's what I'm gonna do but if you guys do me that solid for my birthday gift me with having inviting your friends your family your cousins your whatever if you help me get to 200 subscribers by Thursday, July 2nd, again, I will be adding, doubling the cash giveaway, and it'll be $100 to one lucky person. Okay? I know you guys could do that for me. I believe in you guys so much. And again, thank you so much for all your love and support and for even tuning in and watching my videos. I couldn't be living this dream without you guys. So, thank you for making my dreams a reality and I promise the bigger we get I'm not gonna change who I am I'm gonna keep it real with you guys always but just the more people we get to join the fam the better it's gonna be for all of us because I promise I'm not gonna forget you guys I'm gonna be showing you guys my gratitude and how grateful I am by giving you guys stuff and doing giveaways constantly promise pinky picking promise promise that's my hard 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 from the bottom of my heart promise that i'm always gonna give to you guys if you guys got my back i'm gonna get yours that's how it's always gonna be okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this look and i'll see you guys on thursday when i pick the winner bye